Welcome back, everyone, for a awesome episode of Trek. I'm Captain Foley. <laughs> Couldn't think of a word, could you? <laughs> I was, was going to come up with a good joke for the phaser, like a stunning episode or something. Ooh! I mean, you might be stunned by the design of this new phaser rifle. Or by the person holding it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Or by the blue uh, bolts of, of Pulse that's shooting you. I mean, any of the three, to be fair. Exactly. Everything can stun you in this picture. Wow. <laughs> we did it! Comedy! <laughs> Anyway, guys, welcome back. We're going to be talking about the yep. phaser design, uh, the phaser rifle design that we see in the new Picard trailer from London Comic Con. Nope. New York Comic Con. There you go. That's the one. <laughs> Sorry, my brain was somewhere else. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we hear that Seven, she helps people, and then we get her helping people, with aggressively helping people. I know you like these, so why don't you tell me your first impressions of these when you saw them? I mean, you mentioned that, and, and you do know that I happen to own a phaser rifle, so I've got a certain affinity for the phaser rifle design. Um, oh, that went green, but I still got to show off a little bit. No, I, I, it's funny, the first time I watched this trailer, um, I didn't see them at all. Uh, I was on my phone, because I was like, oh, i got to see it. So they made no impression. Only in the, sit down, ready for the live, check it out, with what? what? Ooh! That was my impression um, when I actually got to the the review. I I really like them. I mean, they're they are they're both wonderful and generic in very different ways. I always say at this point, creating a brand new art design is damn tricky because how many different shows, movies, TV do we have that all influence each other by accident? That shapes were used. You know, it, it's so hard that when shows like Babylon Five and such could create dozens of new aesthetics, you know, it's like wow, well done them. But it is difficult. It, so, making a new phaser rifle that looks like it does is is difficult. So, what did you think then, seeing it? It didn't leave an impression on me, to be honest. I'm not. Meh. They, they they don't look Starfleet issue. Just because they're all black, they seem like they are definitely not Starfleet issue. Um, that could you know that's not necessarily the case because we got the the Mako ones and Enterprise that are black and things like that. But uh, I just feel for this time period that this is probably like a modified gun or a some kind of uh, civilian or mercenary style weapon. I don't think it's necessarily a Starfleet phaser rifle, in my opinion. Um, but it does have some really cool uh, aspects to it. I do love the almost like a double barrel design, uh, upper and lower, and then you got the, the targeting scan, scanner or sight, whatever it is on top. It looks actually really great. Um, it does, And it's got a cool, some kind of display on the side by the trigger. Um, so... I want to see more of them. I want to see it up close. I want to see it in more detail because I think it's something that's it's a nice addition to the the arsenal. Um, now the the discovery phaser rifle, which which uh, you were more anti than I was at the time, but it clearly visually links into things past and future. Do you prefer this design or that design? Um, this one. Okay. Good. Cool. Um, let's do the next picture to zoom in, and it's actually digitally enhanced via a clever app. Um, so you get a little bit more pixels, but you know, I'm glad everyone noticed uh, when I was doing my live is that the front is very like the Halo rifle, the assault rifle. It has that kind of vibe. Whereas you know the other phaser rifles, they have a very distinct outer phallic shooting tip. You know, <laughs> um, yeah. but I mean, all credit to them. I mean, the things that are important on these rifles are the back exactly the same. You know, except this is a bit too much, but this is actually designed to have a uh, a strap. And they physically had to have more space to put the strap in. So that's why there's a... This why it's, that's the only reason why it's bigger. I think also a slight battery in there is this. Clearly hasn't got that. And they've got, like you say, there's actually a, a torch. Um, and then a, there's a little beep, beep, late. there's a little sigh in there. So there's the two main elements still exist. And if you go back to the first picture again, on the one close to seven, you can see a very slight rib detail um, on the front where the grip is. And so that's been reversed. There is definitely... It's visual... It's, there's a distinct attempt to keep it visually consistent. Uh, it just looks more like a tactical version. I agree with having two barrels, although I don't want like a, 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 a kill and a stun barrel because that was bad enough in JJ. It's it's silly. Um, I'm not sure what I would do for two. Uh, I'm not sure why two would be better. I kind, of almost, I kind of almost hope one is just like a focusing coil or one is a, a torch or one is a, you know. Um, well, I guess you could say maybe that bottom's like a, the equivalent of a grenade launcher. Maybe it's like a, a charge version. Because that would then link to modern military and be simple. So you have pulse top, phase top, then bigger one. That's different at least. Yeah, maybe the top one is just like the, the 
steady laser beam or a phaser beam. The lower one is like a pulse version. Yeah, or that as well. I mean, it's only something. But let's compare, though. Uh, this side view is all the one I was just holding up. And again, you can see many, many parallels. Um, they definitely tried uh, even to have that little lip over the uh, uh, at the top of the sight as it as it slides down the little lip. It's even got that here. I mean, now you can see them like this, Stuart. I mean, do you like it anymore? Yeah, I mean, you can definitely see the visual tie-ins with it, especially the, the top sight part, the the handle, the grip at the back, or <laughs> the stock at the back. I, it's not that I don't like it. Don't get me wrong. I think it's great. I just it's just a phaser rifle. They kind of get all muddied for me. Um, I'm more of the um, phaser guy. This is fair. This is fair. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I still I'm still not 100 percent convinced this Starfleet issue, but. Maybe we'll get an answer to that. I do kind of wish there was more silver. Now that you pointed out earlier that it's all black, it, it is a yeah. I want to make something look duller to make it all black. Um, you can see two silver elements, um, but it helps to highlight and contrast. We have the next picture though, because I like, compared to several rifles. This is the very little known uh, EVA rifle because they'd have a custom EVA rifle, and just to see what elements they might have pulled from here, because you know all these rifles exist and could be used. I mean, do you see any? this reference at all this link <laughs> well besides the uh the actual grip and the kind of lead back to the stock and then the front lower part um minus the extra grip uh there's a lot of similarities there like if you cut the the top of this one off and just look at the bottom it looks very similar mm -hmm. uh in design so plus yeah, the I'd... display on the side oh know, yeah that helps too that's just true <laughs> i was looking for a while and i didn't even notice that yeah yeah, and the next one is is a is a weird one, but it's an alternate one. This is the AR one one six one six. six. Yeah, one it's not like that. It's the uh, transporter rifle, meaning you attach some stuff to it and then it beams a projectile. It's designed to take out the Borg. It was used in a very cool episode of DS Nine with Esri Dax, but really it's a repainted Breen rifle mm -hmm. with a new front. Um, but I want to show parallels to this. I kind of think the, the front has some similarities as well. Some slight stylings where you hold it feels maybe closer to this than the other ones. Yeah, this one seems a little bit more specialized, though, than um, the new one. So, But yeah, it definitely is supposed to be, so that's fine. And then, uh, yeah, you know, I just did the last picture, but I, yeah. I wanted to hide it because it was a very surprised thing. It's amazing how we're, everything should be new. But then, for once, I think we're going to see new rifles. Didn't occur to me. Mm -hmm. um, so that's another cool well, thing. Well, I do like the fact that maybe the top one is the beam. The bottom one could be like a replicator. So you could replicate either projectiles, you could replicate small grenades, something to shoot out of there. You just set the setting on the side. Or even mm. maybe they've incorporated the AR-116 uh, mm. technology in there. So you got a transporter in the, mm. the bottom one that can actually transport a projectile should the need arise. Because it could, it could come in handy sometimes. Yeah, I like that assertion of the bottom one being way more custom. Because the fact that the L cars bit is on the bottom could connect directly to that's so the separate tech. Because if you, if you, I kind of would have preferred if the bottom barrel was much further back to allow the front to have its own outer barrel feel, which all the other rifles have. Because it just feels too uniform as a shape, and just like the Halo rifle, when you carry it, it's gonna look exactly like a Halo rifle. Whereas they've always had that sort of outstretched vibe uh, may maybe i mean to be fair maybe that bit could be you know de detached and you just have the front and if you're you know i'll do i'll do a cheeky photoshop now where i sort of edit it out maybe that's the main rifle and it's still different attachments so you can add a custom flashlight or a this or a that and then it's um you know i can imagine it being like a black ops or you know black ops specialist phaser rifle that is multiple attachments because if you're looking at you know future usability that you know that's a cool thing to do and you can sell multiple toys of it <laughs> so as you say black ops do you mean section 31 no i don't i actually don't <laughs> okay. i distinctly don't mean that i just mean a, a higher end federation phaser like uh like the elite force hazard team um that's ah, all. yes or, or makos because you're right that their, their rifle is black so i mean i would be fine with them to have new makos that actually be quite a nice reference to say you know the federation got darker at certain points so they re reinvented the makos Okie dokie. <laughs> Fine with that. Um, and I, I really—I mean, you played the Elite Force games, didn't you? Oh yes. Hmm. I, I, you know, I really like the the extrapolated rifles of the second one, the shotgun and the the quick fire rifle. And I, this reminds me of those 
tremendously. Uh, you know, when you have a certain amount, you have to sort of copy from each rifle. How do you make it different? But I think this one does a good uh, a good job for me. So I yeah. guess I guess a tick for, from Sam. Yeah. So hopefully you guys had a blast watching this. Why don't you take a shot at telling us what you think down in the comments section? Um, we do like reading those, and we snipe out specific ones to read because you guys are awesome. He's a funny, just funny, just funny man. Just don't pepper the comment section like shotgun style with a bunch of different comments. Just you know, focus it, you know, with your with your focusing scope sight thing. Focus your comments. Put them down below. Let us know your thoughts on this design. And as always, guys, make sure you like the channel. Subscribe. Yes. Subscribing is important because we find out a lot of our viewers actually aren't subscribed to the channel. Mm. So please subscribe. Mm -hmm. Click the mm -hmm. notification mm -hmm. icon. That helps us out and it helps you out because you get yes. regular updates. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And speaking of regular things, if you want to regularly help us and kind of just almost forget about it in a sense, you just go to our Patreon, give a little bit each and every month, you know, a cup of coffees worth a month you forget about it it goes towards our account we do business with it you know we allow the show to keep going we can pay rent we can do things and allow us to do many many videos on many many topics for you guys to enjoy with these new comparison things that you thought oh i could just do in photoshop but you didn't did you you come here for that shit so you did here it is and you enjoyed it so support us if you can or join our lives or go to our description and sale ways you can buy merch you can go to our you can use our eagle moss link which we absolutely love because we love eagle moss um, all great ways. Check out down below and just watch the next great bit of content. That's right. So we've hit you with our best shot as far as talking about this rifle goes until we get more better views of it. I think I'm done now. Thanks, guys. Bye, everyone. Time.